Hey everyone, it's Leishi, and today I've partnered with Western Digital to showcase the WD Black SN850 NVMe SSD game drive with heatsink and to show you how to install it with your PS5. An SSD or a solid state drive is a much faster storage technology that reduces load times and lag. A big difference between the PlayStation 5 and the PlayStation 4 is that the PlayStation 5 does have an SSD inside, the PlayStation 4 does not. But the problem with the PlayStation 5 SSD is that it's quite small of the storage size. There's only 825 gigabytes in there. So for gamers like me and yourself, we tend to run out of space quite quickly when installing games on our console. In turn, that becomes a massive problem and a big downside of using a console. Here is where Western Digital comes in. Sony released an update that now allows us users to take advantage of the empty internal M.2 SSD slot. So now with the help of the WD Black SN850 NVMe SSD game drive, we can now expand our storage on our console. And that means I can now say goodbye to having to delete games just to fit Call of Duty on my console. This right here is the WD Black SN850 NVMe SSD with the heatsink. So we know straight off the bat that this is compatible with the PS5 and because of the heatsink it's going to help keep the system cool and I don't have to worry about any overheating when I'm playing my games. This SSD is going to give the user fast read and write speeds with 7000 megabits per second read and 5300 megabits per second write, meaning that your games are going to load much quicker. Given the fact that this is already compatible with the PS5, it takes away the guesswork of having to choose an SSD. The only choice you have really is to choose your storage size. So I have a one terabyte one here, but you can go higher if needed. Just make sure you're picking up the one with the heatsink so you don't have to stress about the console getting too hot. Now you can just kick back and play your next gen experience with ease. So now I'm going to show you how to install it into your PS5 by installing mine into my PS5. Its form factor is designed with an M.2 2280 slim light and compact body so it's going to slot straight into the internal slot we don't have to worry about anything. The first thing you want to do is open your PlayStation 5. I recommend watching a YouTube video on how to open the shell. Next you want to unscrew the slot. There is a cover plate with a screw in there so you will need a screwdriver but once you open that up that will show you the M.2 slot for your SSD. There is a screw on the inside that you will need to unscrew and it will have a little nut in there. This is to screw down your SSD and also to size up where you want to fit your SSD. The WD Black SN850 and VME SSD fits with the size 80 so you can place the nut in the 80 hole and then slot your SSD into the right hand side. The SSD just slides into where the pins are on the right hand side so once you align them properly it will sit in and then you can put the screw back in so it doesn't move around. Once you have installed the SSD, pop the little silver plate back on, screw it in, put on your PS5 cover plate and then you're good to turn it on. Once you turn your PlayStation on, you're going to see an M.2 SSD storage message. All you need to do is format the SSD. Once the SSD formats, it's going to show you the read speed of the SSD, which in my case is pretty close to what the SSD says on the box. After that, the console is going to tell you that it has been formatted and you are free to copy all your games across. It shows you how to do it, which is settings, storage, installation, location. So overall, I think this is a great option for your PS5. It is super easy to set up and to format when you turn on your PS5. It fits in very nicely and it seriously took me like 30 seconds to install. I'll leave some links below of where you can pick up the WD Black SN850 SSD and you can choose different sizes if you'd like. Thank you so much to WD for sponsoring this video. And I'm going to end the video today with a question to you guys, and that is, have you upgraded your PS5 SSD? 
I'd love to know if you have down below in the comments and how you are loving the extra space because I'll tell you right now, I am super excited to not have to worry about deleting games anymore. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you next time.